Hi everyone, Jason here from spiritualbabies.net. I'm having a quick chat to our friend Rabbi Stuart Federo. We're going to be uh, doing a uh, few videos going forward based on comments of previous videos that we've done. And one of the verses which is pulled up is, and God said, let us make mankind in our image. So we want to discuss with Rabbi what that means and why that doesn't mean that God is in our image. Welcome back, Rabbi Federer. We haven't had you well, here for a, for a while. Well, Great to have always you back. Always good to be back with you. I, I think we have to discuss something before we talk about that one line. You can see a verse in the Bible, and I can see a verse in the Bible, and you can interpret it one way, and I can interpret it another. And how can you or how can I know whose interpretation is the one with the most truth in it? A third person can come along and say, I like Jason's interpretation better than Stewart's interpretation, but that's only his opinion. You've got your opinion on what it means. I've got my opinion on what it means. The third person has his. It's all human opinion. So there's no way to know, based solely on interpretation of a verse, who's, which interpretation has the most truth in it. Okay, that, that's to me obvious. But we can know which interpretation has the most truth in it by looking at other verses in the Bible, the ones especially that are clear and concise and literal and need no interpretation to understand. So if a person starts out by saying that let us make man in our image is speaking of a plural God, a trinity, okay, then you have to compare that concept, that interpretation of let us make man in our image with other verses in the Bible that contradict the concept of a trinity. And if there are other verses, the eternal is our God, the eternal is one, okay, for I am God and not a man, Hosea 11, 9, uh, on and on and on and on, uh, then we have to reject immediately their interpretation of that verse that let us make man in our image cannot refer to a trinity because it contradicts the other verses in the Bible that talk about the absolute oneness, the indivisibility of God. And I guess as well, if uh, they're already uh, approaching this in a, in a way that makes the us and our a three-headed beast, right. whereas it could be a two or a four or a ten or a hundred headed beast it could be any number of people 156 billion 225 million 456,221 I mean, it's plural it could be any number and they only see three in it because they're coming with a, a preconceived concept that god is made up of three persons so any plural becomes three and no other number what it does so, as well is let's let's suppose for a moment that there are three and that they are god jesus and the holy spirit right if Jesus is the human form and God is the ethereal one and the Holy Spirit is this invisible helper, they can't all look the same. So how do you make something in our image when they all have different images and right. makeup? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Well, no, it doesn't make sense on a whole lot of levels. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's what I my understanding of it is that there's an element here of royal plurality in the same way as. Queen Victoria famously never said we are not amused, but when the Queen gives her Christmas message every um, 25th of December, she speaks in the royal we. We are happy right. we've had this year. Um, right. And also there's an element of a kind of a heavenly choir that God's okay, talking wait, about. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I have to go back to something yeah? you okay, said. You do. She <laughs> never really said that? No. She never said we are not amused. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Let's learn something new every day. It's like but, uh, Sherlock Holmes never said elementary, my dear Watson. Right. Never, never. Well, actually he did, but he was answering the question, what, what level of schooling, schooling did you think? <laughs> elementary, friend. yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> All right. At any rate, I, I understand that there are multiple explanations and any one can uh, show how the idea that it's talking about a trinity or plural nature of God shows that to be wrong. But... Jason, I prefer, my, my spin on things is to look at the Bible itself. And if you take a look at the same creation story, just a few verses before that, not a few, a, a number of verses before that, first in Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, okay, 
God creates the earth, and then God says, let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and it goes on from there. Then again you have, uh, where God you know, uses the earth in creation, with Genesis chapter 1, verse 24, and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. Before you have the verse in 26, you have twice God using the earth explicitly stated as such in the scripture uh, to help God, so to speak, in creating. You see what I'm saying? So it's a tool. As a tool, exactly. The difference, though, is plants and the other animals don't have a soul. Okay, or let me rephrase that. They have a soul. It's a uh, nephesh. It's not a neshama, which is a specific kind of soul that God gives to human beings. So I believe that the best way to explain Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, is to say that when God says, let us make man in our image... God is talking to the earth and saying, let's you, earth, and me, God, make man in our image. Because there's going to be flesh and blood coming from the earth, and there's going to be soul coming from me, from God. So God combines with earth to make human beings, where God provides the soul and the earth provides the flesh and blood. I have I think never ever heard that before. Okay. Well, you know, because... No, I'm no, just kidding. All right. <laughs> if you go to other verses in the Bible, it's Ecclesiastes, Kohelet, chapter 12, verse 7. It's a very well-known verse. It says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. At death... The earth takes back what it provided to humans, and God takes back the spirit, the soul, that God provided to humans. So to me, and God said, let us make man in our image, he is saying, I will provide the spirit, the soul, you will provide the flesh and blood, and at death, you get back what you provided, and I get back what I provided. To me, that makes the most sense. It's biblically based. It's right there in Genesis 1.24, let the earth bring forth the living creatures, and earlier in uh, 12, uh, and let the earth brought and the earth brought forth grass, and before that 11, let the earth bring forth grass. It just to me makes the most sense, and it's right there in the Bible. It's the same chapter as the verse we're discussing, and so let us make man in our image is God speaking to the earth, saying, you provide the flesh and blood, I'll provide the soul. When the individual dies, you get the earth back, the flesh and blood back, and I get the soul back, which we find in Ecclesiastes 12. That's really amazing. And I, honestly, I've never read that before. never heard that before. I, and I, I kind of like it. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. And you're going to ask me which commentary and who it was. And I, it is, it is in the commentaries. I just can't tell you which one. Who, That's fine. If someone knows and they, uh, they can say, then leave it in the comments below. Uh, this was just a bite-sized thing, but we want to do a regular thing. So if you're at home and you have questions... And they're like that, and you're not sure about something, or you've got one line you, and you'd like the rabbi to break it down, leave it in the comments below. And the more you do, the more shows we can do. That's, Absolutely. That, was, that was really great. Thank you very much. Anytime. And we'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.